Hello, my name is Colin Ahrens. I am from the University of Connecticut, and this is my poster. So, so the rationale for my work is that uh, back in 2002, Monsanto uh, put in an application to uh, to release um, herbicide-resistant creeping bank grass, and it's and they wanted to be resistant to. Uh, um, Roundup, and Roundup is one of the most common, commonly used herbicides in the country, and so, and they want to use this grass on golf courses and to make it easier to control stuff like poa annua and other weeds such as that. And what we, and and, and what we're concerned with is, is uh, is the escape of said transgene into the wild. And and Agros is stolen if actually has many relatives and is able to hybridize that it's able to hybridize with, including itself. And all, all these species are actually feral. And so what we want to do, we want to look at communities and and populate in the population ecology with with these Agros species. So what we did is we went to seven different habitats. The first is a core forest um, habitat, which is here. Uh, and also we went to uh, herbicide meadows, uh, herbaceous meadows, which you can see pictured here. We went to 20 different uh, clusters, um, up, which you can see up here in Connecticut. And within these clusters, we went to seven different habitats for a total of 130 uh, transects uh, across the, the southern New England coastal hills and plains ecoregion. And what we found was, uh, we found that that agrosis normally occurs in uh, the intermediate intermediate management sites. What we like herbaceous meadow, roadside, w and wasteland. That's what we're seeing the most commonly, the most common uh, uh, habitats for the grass species. In ordination, in the ordination plot, we, we can see that agrosis is occurring in the yellow, in the middle middle part here, not in the the sites on the outside that are clustered core forest, cornfield, and hayfields. And um, what we've also found was that agrosis species um, occur in a significantly higher diversity sites, which you can see here. Uh, but I think that's that's relate, related to uh, the increase in exotic and, and invasive species, and that increases alpha diversity. So local diversity is increased based on uh, on these sites. Um, and what, we're also, what we also found was that Agrosis species co-occur with each other, which you can see in this table here. Agrosis gigante and Agrosis solanifera are very highly co-occurred. So we're concerned about gene flow between Agrosis solanifera and the common relatives because they co-occur so, uh, so readily across the, the ecoregion in, in uh, Connecticut. That, those are the major points of my poster. And, uh, and it's a concern if uh, the transgenes are used for for um, for golf courses that they're going to escape. They're going to enter our communities, our plant communities, and um, and we're worried about the possible harm to these plant communities based on abundant shifts of other species. Thank you.